Hello, I've had a couple of comments uh, on my YouTube videos uh, on how to update the BIOS on the Asus Prime X370 Pro motherboard. So I'm going to show you quickly uh, how to do that. So firstly, you want to uh, get your uh, motherboard up, which in this case is going to be the uh, Asus Prime X370 Pro and you want to go on the Asus website, it doesn't matter what country it is, whether it's .com or UK or wherever you are. So then it will come up with this page and you want to go on support and you're also then going to want to go on drivers and tools, select your operating system, it won't make a difference for uh, a BIOS whichever one you select will be uh, come up with the same BIOSes now I'm on Windows 7 64 bit so the one you want to select is this uh, 515 here which is currently the latest BIOS as of uh, yesterday in the case of this video uh, now the first BIOS and the second BIOS both have bricking issues and no performance improvement whatsoever the third BIOS which I was on uh, does have really big performance increases from these two BIOSes down here um, I'm not sure whether the bricking issue was fixed with that one but it still has the issue with the temperature uh, reading very high uh, but this one has fixed uh, CPU temperature uh, better, me better memory compatibility and slightly better performance so you definitely want to go with the latest one like I say at the time of this video uh, this is the latest one I'm shooting this on uh, the 1st of April so um, yeah this one only came out yesterday so what you want to do is you want to download that click there on global and it should download in a, a little zip file so you want to go on to show in folder so I've already downloaded this before so uh, I'm going to delete that but basically you want to copy that well actually you want to put a USB stick in <laughs> your PC and you want to format USB stick and uh, make sure there's nothing on it that you want obviously so you're going to have a fresh a USB stick, in this case mine's called AMD and it is the G drive so I will uh, just get that up for you there we go so as you can see we don't want anything else on here at all because if your motherboard has the bricking issue it could update or try and update to any rubbish or file which you have on there whether it's for um, the motherboard or not now I will have to find this BIOS again so uh, don't know where it is Prime there it is that one so you wanna copy that onto this USB stick here so then you wanna extract the the file now it doesn't matter um, if you leave the extracted file on there or not you can also copy the file out of the folder and put it outside if you want, it doesn't make a difference I just tend to leave it in like this so then um, obviously you will be on your Ryzen system which in my case is a totally different PC so what you want to do is you want to unplug literally everything else apart from your main uh, SSD or hard drive which your OS is on and just your keyboard and mouse so you'll probably have three things plugged in you want to unplug your Ethernet as well because it can try and update from the internet and die that way so obviously you're going to want to turn the system on and then you want to go into the BIOS obviously you can see here I've got the 
Prime X370 Pro. So you just press delete on the keyboard in case you didn't know. My fan's spinning up. Hopefully we can actually make it into the BIOS. <laughs> I think it's at 4.1 GHz at the moment on quite high voltage, so it's uh, not enjoying booting up with very tight RAM timings as well. Might say overclock failed or something. Here we go. So press delete to enter UFI BIOS. Okay, so it's saying overclocking failed. Yours should just go straight into the BIOS if it's actually stable. Right. So you want to go. You want to press F7 um, to go into advanced mode. So this will bring up this lovely screen here and what you want to do is if you've got any settings and overclock like I've got at the moment um, you want to be uh, writing down these settings so you want to go in write all your settings down and uh, I don't recommend the settings that I've got in at the moment by the way <laughs> your, your CPU may die so now, so you want to go into all these menus, write down any settings that you have configured in here. So, and then you want to go into um, this one here and you want to select, uh, this is exit, but you want to select load optimized defaults. So you're going to press OK on uh, that bit, which I'm not going to do because obviously I'm already on the update of BIOS. So then if you want to check that it's load the optimized defaults, uh, everything should be back on also. Then you're going to press F10 to save and exit. It should say a load of uh, autos on there. So you just press OK. Then the system should reboot and you need to go back into the BIOS. So, now you're back in the BIOS, you want to again press F7, uh, but this time you want to go on to Tool, the Tool menu, and select the top one which is Asus EZ Flash 3 Utility, and then you've got this selection here, now you shouldn't have your internet plugged in, so this is the bit where it'll die if you select the internet, so you want to go via a storage device which is this option here which is highlighted in blue press enter now it will come up with uh, your drive storage devices you can see there I've got a 120 gig SSD plugged in which is this down here and the USB stick uh, which is FS0 which I know is an 8 gig USB stick and you can see it, the folder on it there so where it's highlighted in blue you need to press enter and then it'll highlight this in blue and then you need to press enter again and then it'll come up with the uh, BIOS that you want to flash. Now you need to go down, uh, press down on the keyboard so that's highlighted in blue and then you want to press enter and it says do you want to read this file? Obviously you're going to press yes down here where it says yes, although the camera isn't picking it up because it's rubbish. There we go. And it'll take a little while. It'll say, do you really want to update to the version of this BIOS? It'll say there the BIOS version and date, and you're going to click yes. I'm going to press no. So what it'll then do is it'll come up with a bar and it will say erasing old BIOS, come up with a bar 
and then it will say updating new BIOS. It will take a couple of minutes. So once it has finished, and I recommend you sit there and watch it do it, it will restart itself or ask you to restart it. Uh, you must not turn the computer off or restart it while that bar is going across. You must leave it until it finishes because if you don't you are absolutely screwed and you have effectively bricked your board. And what will happen then is the PC will reboot again. So uh, I'll just exit mine, simulate it rebooting. And then the last thing you want to do is to go back into the BIOS. It will come up and say new CPU installed. Um, press F1 to enter. Um, press F1 to enter the UEFI BIOS um, because it's like you first got the board and then in the information up here you can check your BIOS version is updated to the correct one which in this case is 5.15 so that's uh, obviously worked fine for me and then you can go on the F7 and uh, type in any of your settings which you wrote down before now when you update the BIOS it will uh, delete any overclocking profiles that you had set up so there will not be any overclocking profiles saved in here unfortunately and also if you're updating from an older BIOS you'll notice that there are a few more options so this BIOS does have the ability to disable SMT as well as configure the uh, CPU as well uh, in different ways to previous so you can see here I can turn SMT off and you can also do the uh, core leveling in this newer BIOS so you do get extra features you get extra performance um, your board doesn't brick itself there is really no reason whatsoever to uh, not update your BIOS to this new version um, you'd be pretty stupid not to really. Uh, to give you an idea of how much better performance uh, this new BIOS is, at 4 gigahertz, um, well, at 4.1 gigahertz on the 502 BIOS, I managed to hit 1806 in Cinebench at 4.1 gigahertz with the memory at 2400. Now, with the latest BIOS, which is the 515 BIOS, I've managed to hit 1830, I think it was. Uh, I'm just going to check in Windows once it, once it gets in there. You can see there, 1830 at 4GHz on the new BIOS. And at 4.1, uh, you can see these are my old scores down here, so at 4GHz on the original BIOS. I was actually hitting uh, 1772 and now I can hit 1830 at the same speed and at 4.1 I was hitting 1806 and I can now hit uh, 1872 and that is running the exact same speed so uh, yeah there's huge performance increases as well as uh, not breaking your board so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, I ho hope it was helpful for the uh, noobs out there who might be a bit wary of bricking the BIOS. And uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if it was helpful. And if you have any further questions, uh, you can put them down in the comments of the video and I will try and answer them. So uh, yeah, that's it, see you in the next video.